So hello everybody. Welcome to Let's Stream The Longest Journey. Mostly blind with me, Varax. I have played it a long time ago for a maybe chapter one. And I think there's seven chapters, so I haven't played much of this at all. Um, yep, we're going to start this now. The first session won't be too long because it is getting on in the evening. I started late tonight and I spent a little more time on the other game I stream, Gothic, for uh, you know a little while. So this is just going to be like an introduction thing and um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it and you'll continue for the rest of the, the stream of this. So this is a point and click adventure game from a little while ago. And now we know the new game is... Uh, <laughs> Longest journey. So, uh, as far as I know, everything is fine. Game settings is fine. So we can just begin the journey and uh, see where it takes us. There is a lot of dialogue in this game, which is kind of why I chose it because um, I'm going to sit back and chill out for a lot of it and uh, let you guys worry about the puzzles. So I, you know, we can all just experience the story together. Are we all ready? Shall we begin? Let's begin. So, you've come to hear me tell a story, have you? If you please, we would love to hear one of your stories. You have seen so much. You have lived so long. Oh, so good of you to remind me of my age, child. No, don't worry. I am an old woman, but I've lived a long and fulfilling life, and I do have stories to tell. Which story would you like to hear? A true one. A true story. All my stories are true, child. There are enough fairy tales in the worlds already. There's no need for me to make up more, believe me. Tell us the story of the balance, then. Oh, oh, you want the story of the balance? Oh, that's a long story, child. And not one I'd venture to tell at this hour. But perhaps I could tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. A story that became a crucial turning point in the history of the balance. And that set in motion wheels that to this day are still turning. Please, yes, that does sound like a story we'd like to hear. Very well. This story, like all good stories, begins where it ends. In a tower. In a realm that is no more. I haven't played Mist or Riven. I'm also not going to talk over the dialogue, so... It's going to be a little bit awkward to answer questions that sort of pop up. I'll try and remember them. Nah, it's all right. I was never really big into point and click adventure games. I can respect them, but they've, you know, I never really sat down and focused on played one, you know, so that's what this is all about, really. This is finding the gems, isn't it?
<laughs> oh. She's got a dragon rug. See it? It's gone now. But it was the same dragon as the one in the intro. Just noticed that. Oh, How you his name? No. Don't tell me I'm dreaming again. You know, for once, just once, it would be nice to have a decent night's sleep without waking up screaming from a bad dream at 4 a.m. Postcard pretty. Real life never looked this good. Hi, username. Yeah, I, I saw that as well. Though she stopped just as the game started, <laughs> which kind of annoyed me. Um, and she stopped at about the point that I, to be fair, stopped as well when I was playing it. But I didn't. I wasn't like playing it. I was just kind of playing it on my own and. Um, so I can't really judge for that. Real life never looked this good. I'm in my undies. That's so not appropriate. But I was kind of hoping to see more, and she stopped at the same point. I was like, God damn it! What's happening? <laughs> oh, perfect. I guess if I don't do something to save that egg, I'll suffer seven years of bad karma or something. Yeah, you finish this, Dragonster. Go to twig. Tree. I'm an artist, not a botanist, but I'm pretty certain this tree is dead. I assume to you. Close to it. It's as dry as a bone. It'd probably snap right off in a second. Looks reptilian, but it can't be. It's much, much too big, and and I don't much care for reptiles. <laughs> Take it. Sequel not so good. That sound come from the egg. Boy, that's some chick. Not gonna go I don't think I can get a good grip on it. It's too big and slippery, and I might drop it by accident. By accident, not on accident. So the sequel's not as good. Dreamfall, or whatever it's called. Something happened to this rock quite recently, and it probably altered mm. the course of the stream. I've heard similar things. Hey, maybe that's why the tree's dying. Oh. oh, the suffering we must endure. What? Why do you take such pleasure in torturing us? Torturing you? Who are you? We are the voice of all trees, the spirit of wood and leaf. You're a talking tree? No, a tree does not talk. At least not in your tongue. The tongue of trees is the language of wood, root, and leaf. Who are you then? Like we said, we are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice One step at a time. is done, we must speak for the tree if we are present. It's the branch. I shouldn't have broken the branch off. Oh, what does it matter anyway? There is nothing more to be done for us. We are simply here to provide comfort in the final passing to Earth. We? I only see one of you. We are one with our host, as we are all one spirit, but Legion. Yeah, uh, thanks for clearing that up. We do not expect you to understand. You are human. I 
I can't imagine it's working on an iPad. What happened to the tree? <clears throat> oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we... Battle? Between the mother and black chaos. She was only protecting her child, but it would not back down. And the force of their battle shook the mountain. The brook that fed us was led astray, and without water, we began to wither and die. What's the deal with the egg? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. But now, withered and without strength, we can do nothing to help. We have failed the mother, and we despair. Our shame knows no bounds. Who are you again? We are the Wood Spirit. We come to all trees in the hour of great need to provide comfort and aid in the passing to Earth and to give a voice to those who suffer. Our time is running out as we speak. The passing to Earth is about to begin. Leave us now. What about the egg? Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. And the Earth will know our shame for all time to come. Are you always this glum? We are here because it is too late. The passing has begun. Leave us. Please. Isn't there anything I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. Lose the attitude, okay? Just tell me if there's anything I can do. Hmm. It is futile. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I'll find a way. Don't panic. We do not panic. Unlike you, we accept our destiny. If, however, against all odds, you do succeed, we will carry the child safely back into its nest. Do not make a foolish attempt on your own. It would spell certain misery. Okay. <clears throat> we do not panic. Yes. So, April's, like, quite a neat character because she's quite sassy. Um, hmm. Fresh mountain water. Back in the real world, they'd probably charge 15 bucks a bottle for this. Now, I said I knew how to do this. I don't. I was lying. Maybe like that? I don't know. Ah, okay. That's progress. I'm not entirely certain what grand purpose this is supposed to serve, but it sure looks like I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to find something to bring the water over here. So maybe there's some kind of thing on it somewhere else. Maybe this? According to the, um, spirit, there was some kind of battle that split the rock and changed the course of the stream. Ah, this a bit of egg. That's right. I've never seen a scale this size before. Sorry, I remembered. I remembered. I'll keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> it's a large, slick, and somehow disturbingly reptilian scale. Okay, so yeah. So you get it. We put this on there and it'll bring the water over here. Like that. Gotta wait for it to flash, don't you? Oh, it's a bit on that. There. This should do the trick.
Hey. Talk about instant rehab. <laughs> Neat. My arts and crafts teacher would be so very proud of me. It's a dream, FK. It's a dream. So you want to bring the egg back now? Oh, there we go. Hello? Hello? Leave us be. Are you okay? We find our strength returned, and so we have no time for idle conversation. We must drink and rejoice. Aren't we forgetting something? Hush, listen. The song of ancient wood. Is it not sweet? Sweet, definitely. Yeah, the baby's probably ready to boogie down as well. The baby, oh, the egg. Thank the earth, we almost forgot. Uh-oh. Waiting for you. <laughs> waiting? Why? Because it begins here, with you, as it always has. What do you mean? The breach and the mending, the pain and the joy, the end of the old and the dawn of the new. A different world. I am the mother of what is, but you, you are the mother of a future that may yet be. How will I know? How will I know what to do? I will guide you, and I will protect you as much as I can. But in the end, you are on your own. I'm afraid. You always were, my child, my daughter. This is probably not a good thing. Cloud. <laughs> Battle between the mother and the black cloud. What a nightmare. I'm completely exhausted. I must have been tossing and turning. I don't know. So hot in here, too. No wonder I keep having these weird dreams. I've basically been simmering in my own sweat every night this past week. Doesn't look like it's gonna cool down anytime soon, either. It's another sunny day in Newport. Well, it's a good thing the studio's got proper air conditioning. I promised myself I was going to spend most of the day working, and I don't intend to break that promise. Not this time. My cash card at the moment is really quite useless. <laughs> there can't be more than a dollar or two left in it. What about the rug? The rug! These dragons on it, they match, like, things that were in the 
I think at the start, I'm sure they did. Anyway. So we got a lot of things to look at in the room. Uh, I think we'll end the session when we end the room. Uh, that might be in a little while. <laughs> but that's probably a good a good time to do it. Around then. Just so you guys know. I'm not good at taking care of living things. But this plant's doing just fine despite months of neglect. Nice view. If you're into brickwork. No. Don't think there is a button like that. There's no tab like in Baldur's Gate. Ah, ducky! It's a rubber ducky. Hopelessly trapped under that rusty old grill. That's important. Okay. Let's know. It's a seagull. Poor guy looks quite hungry. Hmm. It's a clothesline. Oops. Maybe that was important. I don't think she is a sleepwalker. I don't know what that chain's for, but it's connected to some kind of mechanism at the bottom of the canal. <laughs> the ducky is very important. Spiky. Spiky. <laughs> Nothing that does anything. It's a rusty old grill, kept afloat by a rubber ducky. I still haven't figured out what runs through the canals in Venice, but I'm sure it can't be water. Yes. Whatever those pipes are spewing out, I know one thing for sure, it ain't water. I still haven't figured out what I still haven't figured out what runs through the canals in Venice, but I'm sure it can't be water. Should have looked at that first. See, there's stuff in here as well. All right, so my wardrobe's sort of chic deficient, but I can't afford to be cutting edge. Useful, practical, and cheap is my shopping mantra. It's a bunch of drawings I drew when I was a kid. I don't even know why I brought them here. They mean absolutely nothing to me. Yeah, she will be. Oh, this is important. It's Constable Guybrush, my toy mon... Oh, ape. He doesn't much like being called monkey. I'd be a monkey. We'll grab him. When fame and wealth come knocking, I'll buy a wardrobe the size of an ocean liner and fill it with clothes for a million bucks. Right now, I'll try to focus on my work. I could only carry one suitcase with me when I left home. There was so much I would have loved to bring, but c'est la vie. At least it was a clean break with my past. I guess when all my hard work starts paying off, I'll get a house and fill it with all kinds of new junk. The past, who needs it? It's real wood. It's real wood. The wardrobe is actually made of real wood and not that synthetic crap that makes me sneeze and itch all over. It's just a chair. It's just a chair. That's my desk. So, <laughs> theoretically, that's where I'm supposed to do my work. I think my muse has departed me for greener pastures, though, because lately, Inspiration's been fleeting at best. Yeah, she will when she leaves the room. You can't make her do it before that. Shelves. Still just shelves. <laughs> Still just shelves. <laughs> it's just a chair. It's just a chair. It's just a chair. Uh. It's just a chair. Still just shelves. <laughs> it's a picture of me and my friends. It's a picture of Charlie, Emma, and me, and Florence Park. Marcus took it about a month ago, before it got real hot. Constable Guybrush is a strange hybrid between man, ape, and musician. Ape. In addition to being an officer of the law, of course. Okay. It's kind of unsettling to be so aware of myself. What? I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? What are you looking at? I like my outfit. It's inexpensive. But 
cool. It's kind of unsettling to be so... What? I got like my outfit. Big surprise. I'm still here. <laughs> what? Big surprise. It's kind of unsettling. I like my outfit. It's inexpensive. I like my outfit. Big surprise. I feel like someone's staring at me. Hmm. Talk to your diary. My on again, off again diary. We've had a turbulent relationship, her and I. I think she mates the game, you know, because she's so uh, likable, interesting. Dear diary, note to self. Dreams of talking trees and dragons aside, it's still no excuse for talking to inanimate matter in the real world. So quit it. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it. I've been keeping a diary intermittently since I was five years old. Not the same one, of course. I started this one, I think, April of this year. The name's April. I'm part of the should be reading more but life's too short generation. We embrace our illiteracy. The last book I read was How to Seduce the Man of Your Dreams. Now, if I can just find a man to dream about, I'll be all set. Books. I don't read much, but I believe it's important to maintain an intellectual facade. Books. <laughs> That's so me. Much, <laughs> I believe it's important to maintain an intellectual facade. That's my work. It's supposed to be a portrait of my life study teacher, but I think he might disagree. I had to borrow some posters from the cafe because I just can't afford to buy any of my own. <laughs> when I think about it, it's so depressing. I got those posters from the cafe. I got those posters from the cafe. I got those posters you from the cafe. Wanna... That's my work. It's a... that's my work. I think that might be it. Bed. It's been too hot to sleep with a cover. So I don't. I don't need to make my bed. It's been too hot to sleep with a cover. This is where she gets dressed. I'd better head over to the studio to do some work. Only two weeks until the big show opens, and my contribution <clears throat> is in serious need of attention. Might be a good idea to get dressed first, though. There you go. Hey, babe. Yeah. Babe, you're looking real sexy today. Zach, listen, I I've got to run... And what's going on, April? How you been? Oh. <clears throat> Let's be polite. Ah. We're busy. I don't really have time to hang around. Then how about hanging out with me tonight? A few raptures, some hot dancing. Ah, did I tell you I got a VIP pass to the pavilion? Those things are hard to come by, babe. Let me think about it. So, think about it, babe. <laughs> but don't keep thinking too long or I'll be gone. There are other birds in the sea, you know? Go. <laughs> other birds in the sea. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> oh, man. All right, should we do this one, one, one corridor and then we'll stop? It's a fact, as in F A C T, free access terminal. Computer voice interface is not installed. Please use the touchscreen interface to communicate with this free access terminal. Oh, okay. Why not consider a very reasonable upgrade? In addition to a voice interface, true holo display technology and Instacredit compatibility. No, I'll just use my hands, thanks. You are missing out on a great opportunity. If you upgrade now... Hold on, you understood that. You have a voice interface installed already. Why would I pay to have another one installed? Current voice interface is for sales purposes only. If you take advantage of this very affordable upgrade yeah, today, I know, I know no, that. really, you. This terminal doesn't belong to me. Noted. Please refrain from voice communication in the future. 
or you will be reported to the fact FUB and charged for processing time. FUB? Fair Use Bureau. They are authorized to carry deadly arms. Well, whatever. Sorry. Mm. No. Where are you going? Nothing up here. <laughs> Charlie's apartment. His place is twice as big as mine, with a private bathroom and a huge bed. I guess he likes his creature comforts. Should we see if he's in? Nobody home. Thankfully. We know he's in, but we don't like Zack, so... Right, um... There you go. We have saved the game. Um... That was only like half an hour or so-ish, but gave you a good flavour of uh, of the game and our main character, April. And uh, next time when we go downstairs, there'll be a lot of dialogue. But uh, the reason I'm stopping it now is because even though it is a little bit early, it's uh, there is a lot of dialogue downstairs. So um, that'll be for next time. So uh, I think now is a good time to, to stop it. Um, but I hope you guys will join me next week for some more of this. Um, longest journey. I have to exit the game in order to stop the stream and stuff. But, um... Oh, there you go. We get this as well. I'll read this. And then we'll stop. Need to keep this, so, this up as well. Remind me about the diary, guys. Okay? Just, just occasionally just remind me about the... Hi, Jonathan. Click on the plant in the foreground. All right, and then I'll, I'll read this and click on the plant, and then we'll stop. Uh, happy birthday to me, uh, Big One Eight. Oh, uh, join us, right? Well, uh, not to sound like a complete spoil spot, but eighteen feels kind of like seventeen. Only I can buy a gun and a p and pilot a hovercraft. I kind of figured that the number eighteen would cast light into a deep, dark uh, chasm of my soul and reveal some grand truth about the universe, like the meaning of life. Or at least some explanation as to why all the guys are complete idiots. But no, nothing. I'm the same person today as I was yesterday. No different. Uh, same old boring April. Stuck in the same old boring life. Uh, which of course does make me realise something important. I just have to get out of here soon. I have to leave. There's nothing here for me. No future and a past I'd prefer to forget. Uh, I know where I, where I want to go. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts in Newport. God knows if they'll still accept me into their fall program, but I have to try. Sarah went out went out there last year, and she's agreed to let me stay at her apartment for a short while until I can get a job, uh, an apartment. Stay at her place. Writing about leaving is both scary and exciting. It's scary because I've never uh, really been on my own before, and I've never been to Newport. And of course, I'm scared that uh, good old daddy will find out and force me to stay. Not that he can, but he will certainly try. On the other hand, it's really exciting too. I can't imagine anything that beats starting my own life in a place like Venice. Uh, from what I've seen and heard, it looks great. There are lots of little cafes and crisscrossing canals, just like the real Venice in Italy. And most of the people who live there are young and creative and not afraid to look or sound uh, or be different. When... Uh, which will make a nice change from this place. April 22nd, so this was on April 14th. Today I called the Academy and asked uh, them about their admission requirements. They told me to bring some of my work in when you arrive. They don't really have any specific requirements, only that you're talented and dedicated and hardworking. The lady I spoke to sounded nice, but she didn't make any promises. She told me there are lots of apartment uh, applicants and only a limited amount of spaces. I know my work is good, even though I haven't had much training, and I'm definitely dedicated and hardworking. So why am I so nervous? Yeah. 
May 1st. I'm sorry I haven't kept up with events in this diary, but with my exams and everything else going on uh, right before graduation, I haven't had the time. I know, I know, bad excuse, but I'll have to take uh, time out to, uh, time out to, to, and we'll definitely keep my diary up to date from now on. 1st of May. Ma May 25th. <laughs> ah, three weeks of complete silence. I look back at my previous diaries and wonder where the hell did I find the time to write so much so often. Oh well, I'll try and remember what's been going on the past few weeks. I passed all my exams with straight A's, of course, and tomorrow morning I'm leaving home. Yes, I'm making the leap into great, the great unknown, and I'm never coming uh, back here. I withdrew all my money from the bank, uh... $2,190 and I packed a suitcase and a bag with my clothes and work supplies the samples and books and everything else um, I can't do without unfortunately I have to leave so much my old toys some of the bigger canvases I think my screen it's all uh, and it's not like I have a, a have mum shipped them through it's an odd font um, there or anything. I'm leaving a letter for my family, but they're not. But I'm not telling them where I'm going. 18 years under constant scrutiny is enough. I really want to. Uh, I really don't want any of that crap with me in my new life. Strangely, though, when I was packing this morning, I suddenly remembered something I'd forgotten a long time ago. When I was a kid, I kept all my drawings in a box under the floorboards, uh, so my dad wouldn't find them and berate me for wasting my time. The box was right there, uh, was right where I put it more than six years ago. Didn't feel like looking at any of the drawings right away, so I wrapped the box up and stuck it in my bag. I'll open it when I get to Venice. I don't think this is uh, the right time for nostalgic re uh, reminiscence about my childhood, but I'm glad I remember to pick to pack the box. So tonight's the night. I'm sneaking out here at 4 a.m. to catch the train to Greenvale, and from there onto the big city itself, Newport. Uh, at dinner tonight, I'll see Mum, Dad, Daniel and Owen for the last time in a long while. I don't really care if I ever see Dad again, but I feel sorry for Mum. She doesn't seem to care. Uh, she doesn't seem to care much for me, but I know she'll miss me. And I know she'll feel very guilty for turning a blind eye to the way he treated me throughout those years. As for Danny and Owen, I don't really know. Danny's an asshole. Uh, he could theoretically improve, though I doubt he wants to. As for Owen, he's still a kid. Uh, he might turn out okay, but as long as Dad's in control, I'm not too optimistic. I'm going to the pond tonight to say goodbye. I haven't been there in a long while, and since uh, not since that crazy day. Well, I'll have to see it one last time, or I'll never get it out of my head. As for my friends, I don't really want uh, to say anything. I'll mail them when I get to Newport, to Venice. So... Uh, this is the last entry I write here in this house, in this room. In some strange way, I can uh, really understand. I'll miss it. Uh, not much, but I did grow up here. And I, I did spend 18 years, oh my god, in this place. Uh, that's not uh, soon forgotten or ignored. I don't want to feel bad for what I'm doing, but I can't help it. I do feel bad, a little. But more than anything, I'm excited about what tomorrow will bring. I think, yeah, I believe I might actually be happy. Imagine that. Way too early in the morning, <laughs> and I won't even try to describe the dream I had last night. Like enough uh, with the fairy tales already. I need to start dreaming about boys and shopping, you know, the important things in life. I just dawned on me uh, that the student exhibition opens in less than two weeks. My my painting, and I mean that in the broadest sense of the world, has not even close to being presentable. Even that's an overstatement. All I have is a blank canvas, and while uh, it may fool some people, like uh, like in... Well, that's expressive statement of nothingness. It won't fool my teachers. So today I have to put a solid six hours of work into the studio. And I just hope the inspiration will strike me uh, like lightning from the sky. It could happen. So her birthday is on the 14th of April. And she's called April. Um, plant. Whenever you're ready. I guess there's a Organic run, plastic. but I can't remember what it is. It grows, and it converts carbon dioxide into oxygen, just like real plants. But it doesn't need nourishment of any kind. Convenient, but disturbing. Wow. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, we got some of it. It's a leaf of organic plastic. It grows, it converts carbon dioxide into oxygen, but it doesn't need water or sun. No nourishment of any kind, actually. Convenient, but disturbing. Hmm. So, hi, Rube. You just caught the end of the stream. I am going to, uh... Oh, okay. Escape is, uh... I keep pressing escape for options. We're going to save it there, and, um... That'll be it for the first session. Next time, we're going to uh, head downstairs and have a long chat with our uh, housemates. <clears throat> Run by double click. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out next time, I guess. But probably is something like that. Or I think it might be escape and she just runs there. Yeah, escape makes a run. Also, double click makes a run. So we're both right. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, and it is. It's my diary. It's. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, twenty. Two thousand two hundred and nine, is the year. If you're curious. <laughs> uh, right then, I am gonna go now. I know I said that a while ago, but there we go. I've quit the game. I've quit it. And um, you guys. Have a lovely week. I shall see you next time. Um, thanks for dropping by for that. Has been enjoyable. More next week. We'll do a full 90 minutes um, or close enough. Should be a good little stream uh, game to sort of end the weekend on. And um, yes, uh, have a great time, everybody. And I should see you next week, if not before. Brilliant. Okay, then. Night, night, everybody. Toodaloo.